my rebuilding michigan plan is financed without an increase at the gas pump and it will do three things save time save money and save lives fixing the roads was a major focus of governor gretchen whitmer's second state of the state address tonight that plan she was talking about rebuilding michigan asks the state transportation commission to issue three and a half billion dollars in state road bonds governor says the money will add and expand 122 new major road projects over the next five years since it doesn't require the legislature to act we can get started right away and that's important cutting down on the time we take to repair michigan's most frequently traveled trunk lines and state roads is fiscally responsible a muskegon heights boy was in the audience tonight Monty Scott was praised for his efforts to fix the roads by the governor. Last spring, you may remember, after seeing the damage potholes did to the cars on his road in Muskegon Heights, he took it upon himself to fill the potholes with dirt. Governor Whitmer said tonight in her speech that he is part of a generation of doers who inspire her. When I met Monty, he told me his dream is to go to college and to run for mayor. I wouldn't be surprised if Monty is giving this speech one day. Whitmer also said water is one of our state's most urgent challenges, whether it involves levels in the Great Lakes or PFOS in drinking water. It touches nearly every aspect of our lives. Recent headlines about PFOS and Great Lakes record water levels and their impact on tourism and agriculture and infrastructure speak to the magnitude of the urgency of the challenge ahead. And Governor Whitmer said she will focus more on the state's water issues in the coming weeks. One of the other major topics the governor focused on, education, and more specifically, the state-mandated third grade retention law. The new law requires students be proficient in reading by the third grade, and students who are more than one year behind have to repeat third grade. The governor says this punishes the students without addressing the root cause of the problem, and she wants to partner with philanthropic organizations to help families understand the mandate. The one-size-fits-all approach does not work. Any teacher can tell you. Any teacher can tell you that every student has potential, but their needs are often very different. This year, together, we move...